Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our channel. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey back in time to revisit one of the most pivotal moments in human history. Our topic of interest? Operation Overlord, how the Allies unleashed the Second Front in Normandy. This epic military operation changed the course of World War II and ultimately shaped the future of our world. Get ready to delve into the heart-stopping battles, strategic planning, and remarkable bravery that drove the Allied forces to victory. Stick around until the end as we unravel untold stories and reveal the untamed spirit that led to triumph. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let's dive in. In the early morning hours of June 6, 1944, the beaches of Normandy became the epicenter of one of the most audacious military operations in history. Codenamed Operation Overlord, this meticulously planned invasion would mark a turning point in World War II and pave the way for the liberation of Europe from Nazi occupation. As the sun began to rise over the horizon, thousands of Allied troops descended upon the shores of Normandy, ready to unleash hell on the German forces. The decision to launch Operation Overlord was not one that was taken lightly. It required months of careful planning, coordination, and the combined efforts of multiple nations. The objective was clear, to establish a second front in Western Europe and open up a new theater of war that would divert German resources away from the Eastern Front. It was a gamble, but a necessary one if the Allies were to gain the upper hand in the war. The invasion force consisted of over 150,000 troops from the United States, Britain, Canada, and other Allied nations. They were supported by a formidable armada of naval vessels, including battleships, cruisers, destroyers, and landing craft. The skies above Normandy were filled with aircraft, providing crucial air support and dropping paratroopers behind enemy lines. The plan was to land on five designated beaches along the Normandy coast, codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. Each beach had its own set of challenges and objectives, but the ultimate goal was to establish a beachhead and push inland, capturing key strategic positions and securing the area for the arrival of reinforcements. Utah Beach, situated on the westernmost flank of the invasion, was assigned to the U.S. 4th Infantry Division. The beach was relatively lightly defended compared to others, but it still presented formidable obstacles in the form of German beach defenses and natural obstacles. Despite initial confusion caused by strong ocean currents, the troops managed to establish a foothold and push inland, linking up with paratroopers from the 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions. Omaha Beach, on the other hand, proved to be a nightmare. Heavily fortified and defended by elite German troops, the beach became a killing ground for the American forces. The initial assault was met with withering fire from German machine guns and artillery, causing heavy casualties and chaos among the ranks. It was only through sheer determination and the heroic actions of individual soldiers that the beachhead was eventually secured. The bravery displayed by the troops on Omaha Beach would become legendary, and their sacrifices would never be forgotten. Gold, Juno, and Sword Beaches, assigned to British and Canadian forces, fared somewhat better. Although they too faced stiff resistance from the German defenders, the element of surprise and effective naval bombardment helped to soften up the defenses. British and Canadian troops managed to establish beachheads and push inland, capturing key objectives and paving the way for the next phase of the operation. Once the beachheads were secured, the Allied forces faced the daunting task of breaking out of the Normandy Peninsula and pushing further into France. It was a grueling and costly endeavor, as the Germans launched counterattacks and fought tooth and nail to hold their ground. But the Allies were relentless, and with the support of overwhelming air power and armored divisions, they managed to break through the German lines and begin their march towards victory. Operation Overlord was not without its flaws and setbacks, but it ultimately achieved its objective. The establishment of a second front in Normandy forced the Germans to divert valuable resources away from the Eastern Front, where they were locked in a brutal struggle with Soviet forces. It also provided a much-needed morale boost for the Allies, who had been on the defensive for far too long. The success of Operation Overlord paved the way for the liberation of Western Europe from Nazi tyranny. It marked the beginning of the end for Adolf Hitler and his Third Reich, and set in motion a series of events that would ultimately lead to the downfall of the Nazi regime. The sacrifices made by the brave men who stormed the beaches of Normandy will forever be remembered as a testament to the human spirit and the determination to fight for freedom.